All right, so in this video, I'm going to um, show you how to get the values from multiple choice choice chips. So yeah, when you um, basically, we have choice chips here. And when you select multi, where is it? Switch, allow multi-select. Basically, I'm just gonna show them um, in a string right here. And so I have a video like this already but like uh, the audio is kind of bad and I'm jumping back and forth between my article. And yeah, there's also, I'm doing it a different way this time. Um, yeah, so I'll just show you really quick, just in case you're new or you may not remember, but. So yeah. Yeah, that's all it is, but. Um, yeah, I'll just go through it really quick. And I also have an article here. And I'll link that in the description. And yeah, this time I'll just get straight to it. And yeah. So I'm going to go through every... I'll show you how to um, set it up. Um, I won't like type everything out or anything just to make it quicker. But yeah. Try to make it um, as fast as possible. So first, you'll need like a blank homepage or... I mean, I guess you'll have your own design or whatever, but for this example, um, I have just choice chips. And so you can search in the widget palette for choice chips, just drag and drop them there. Uh, you need a button as well. So you can search for a button. It's usually at the top anyways, button in a text field. And so, yeah, for the choice chips, add like two options. So I have car, <laughs> I left this train icon, but yeah, whatever, I'll keep that SUV. And um, yeah, also allow multi-select. And also set at the top. I mean, your design will be different, added some padding, but yeah. Um, yeah, last time I did it with um, app state. So I'll just show you really quick. Okay. So I had I have two app state variables basically. So one was to store um, basically the choice chips. <laughs> and the other one was the string um, to show on the page. So the string. So this time instead of having an app state um, var variable for this um, text, I have a page state. So if you click the top level widget, um, you have to be under the widget tree, I believe. Yeah. So if you click the top level widget, you'll have this last um, tab, state management. And so you can add a field. So you click add field and then you just um, give any name. I have selected items and I have it as a string. And since it's nullable, um, set, you have to set a, a default value. So I put no selected items. So that's the first thing that will show. If you remember on the video I just showed, um, but yeah. And then what's next? Okay. So, okay, yeah. And so I set this, I basically set that page state variable here. So I'll just show you how to do it in case you're not familiar on how to do that. Um, I'll just remove it. So by default, it will say hello world, but you click this little orange icon, like settings, settings icon, whatever. Um, Click page state and selected items. And here I'll just change the text really quick to show selected. And yeah, and so I have action. So um, I have the action as um, on tap, update the page state. So you'll click on tap, or you, <laughs> I guess your app might be different, but yeah, state management, update page state or app state, it depends on your use case, but yeah. Um, let's see. And so the value I set um, is a function. So I'll go to the function first. Um, last time I used the action, so next, this time I'm using a function. I don't know why, I don't remember why, honestly. <laughs> that was like almost two years ago or a year ago. But yeah, anyways. Um, so this is the action, I was setting it to app state, and so. Um, yep, I was taking the list of car types, 
which that was set by the um, last time that was set by the choice chips. Oh, when I click the button, I believe, yeah. And then so I just turn it into a string. So I, really, I just copy for this function. I basically just copied um, this part right here. So you have to go to this custom code tab, um, add function, and you can name it whatever. Uh, I just did list of choice chips and the return value, make it a string and uh, make an argument of the choice items and make it a list of strings. And so, yeah, the choice chips basically, basically gives you a, a list of strings when it's a multiple choice or yeah, multiple choice choice chips. <laughs> Um, yeah, so all I'm doing is pulling, so taking that, um, those, those choice items I get from the, uh, choice chip, <laughs> and then I took that same code, and it's just drawing, um, drawing all of those into a string, um, yeah, so that, also, I'm also adding a comma, so yeah, a comma and a space. And yep, for each item basically. And so, yep, that's all it is really. I'm trying, oh, okay, I didn't show you how to set it. So, <laughs> on value to set, you'll click, I'll just remove it actually. In case you're new, um, yeah, custom functions, list of choice chips. And then all you'll do is set, go to widget state, set choice chips. Confirm, confirm, and yep, that's it.